Why would I push edge though? But why? What's good, internet? My name is Attacks. Like, welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, the road to WrestleMania. And I have some things to do, I suppose, in the ring with Edge against Kane and the Dead Man. Also on the show, I think we already went over this yesterday, so let's just go and do the match, shall we? And so I welcome you to a fine Tuesday afternoon here on the program. As with yesterday, I'm filming at 10 in the morning and SmackDown happening overseas. So all those spoilers should be out by the time you see this video at about 5 p.m. on the Eastern Standard Time, etc., etc. But there is, and at this point you probably already know, but there is a SmackDown match happening tonight. They're doing AJ Styles and Nakamura on SmackDown. And whoever wins gets to pick the stipulation for Money in the Bank. So you're saying that you're going to have a match on free TV that should supposedly have a decisive victor in a series of matches that haven't really had decisive... That's the whole angle is you haven't had a decisive, clean victory since WrestleMania. Like, everything since then has not been clean, so why book a match that theoretically should have to end clean to choose a... I don't know. So, I think either A, Nakamura will, will just be a heel and just immediately get himself DQ'd and say, I don't care what the stipulation is, right? Or, hey, perhaps Joe could interject and then Money in the Bank could be a triple threat match for that title. I don't know. But there are definitely still some interesting possibilities. But, again, you're doing this match on free TV as part of a feud that hasn't had clean finishes. So, like, how do you book that intelligently? I don't know. I don't know. Can't gonna do that, Pyro boy. There it is. Anyhow, moving on to things that happened on Raw last night. We are definitely going down the path of Jinder and Roman. And if that match ends up being the match for Money in the Bank in Chicago, I really have to wonder how that crowd's going to treat that match. How the crowd's going to treat both those men in Chicago. I can't imagine it going well in any real capacity, but... I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But, uh, in continuing Money in the Bank news, Bobby Roode has qualified for that match. Now, I don't see him winning only because he's still a face. And if history has proven anything, it's that having a heel hold Money in the Bank briefcase is a way better booking opportunity than having a face hold it. So, I wouldn't, anti I wouldn't anticipate a face winning that match on either side, on the men or the women. So, we shall see. Uh, they could always surprise me. You could always turn Rude heel, like he did good work at NXT, and him as a phase is just kind of bland and boring and blasé. So, there is that. Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas have an, have an official tag team name. They are the B team. Not, not the A team, the B team. And honestly, those guys have just done so well in the past couple of years. Like, Bo Dallas, I've kind of been entertained by since the beginning. But Axel at the beginning, I just, like, since his NXT days as Michael McGillicuddy, I was just not feeling it. But ever since Axel was in the Social Outcasts, he has gotten way, way better. So I am all about and all behind a B-team tag team on Raw. But also, they totally have three out of the four Outcasts on Raw again. Because if you recall that first draft where they, they left Heath by himself and there were no more outcasts. So, you could totally do that if you're not going to do 3MB, who are also all on Raw. Again. So, a combination 3MB social outcasts? You could, you could totally do that. You could totally do that. And then add in Rhino, because Rhino. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, we are getting further payoff on this Bobby Lashley and his sisters thing next week. And I told you guys, I was like, look, that was a terrible, terrible promo. But let's see if it goes somewhere. And so next week, Sami Zayn is bringing the sisters to Raw. And I know what you're thinking. Oh man, this could be terrible on the level of a Bailey, this is your life terrible. Which was a terrible segment. But if they actually use it to turn Lashley into a creepy, psychotic monster it could be great these two really do reek of awesomeness they've beaten the brothers of destruction 
joking or not, these two are for real. The other superstars on SmackDown should take notice. Both of them were champions before this reunion. There's no telling how far they can go as a unit. What will Edge and Christian do next? Will SmackDown ever be the same? Edge came to the ring with the Waterboy title. So does this story end up with Christian turning on Edge and then wanting to go for his belt at Mania? Or what's the deal? I don't know. What I do know is one more week. One Welcome more week. City. One I'm more week. Call. Well, if it isn't, Santino. What you got, Santino? Where are you power walking to? Where are you going, Santino? Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. Scramola, punk. I'm not CM Punk. I'm Christian. Are you blind? Anyway, moving on. Uh, we have Money in the Bank business. Uh, Alexa Bliss has qualified for Money in the Bank. And honestly, if you want to talk about an early favor for that match, probably Alexa Bliss. It's kind of hard to bet against Alexa in most things, considering how hard they pushed her in the past year plus. So don't be surprised if she ends up with that briefcase in about a month. Speaking of CM Punk, hey, Santino's looking for you. So things haven't been going your way lately, huh, Punk? How does a... Uh straight edge guy like you drown your sorrows comic books with a glass of milk? Pepsi I could retire tomorrow and I'd have more singles accolades than you've ever had Christian if you're worried about my morale then cheer me up by letting me smack the nose off your face at superstars sure I have no problem handing a teetotaler like you another loss so I'm gonna fight CM Punk on superstars remember when they first put out superstars and it was a big deal and I was like, The Undertaker on Superstars! That lasted, what, like a, a month? Anyhow, we had a pretty amazing botch on Raw, which was Drew McIntyre accidentally being knocked into the statue, the, the greatest Royal Rumble statue of one Braun Strowman, and knocking the thing over and breaking it. And I'm like, that... Look, statues being broken in, in wrestling is a time-honored tradition. But normally, the camera is focused on it. It is done with a purpose, not being knocked into accidentally. So that was like, yeah, I hope they're going to try to, I guess, fix that or rebuild that. I hope this, I hope Saudi Arabia is not mad about that because it, it was an accident. It happens. Big Shad. Big Shad, how do you feel about Braun? And what? I didn't hit that button. I wanted to talk, I wanted to, talk to him. I didn't hit the open door button. Boo, open door button. Boo! I wanted to wear with Kron. No! Not into the Bray Wyatt zone! Oh, whatever. Alright. So much for any wisdom from Big Shad. Oh well. I just wanted to know how to make that money, money. Yeah, yeah. Finlay! You need to get out of my sight right now. What if I don't? What if I don't, Finley? What if I don't? What if I stay in your sight? Huh? What if I just stay right here and stare you down, Finley? Stare you down with this awkward camera, Finlay. Nothing. It's what I thought, Finley. It's what I thought. Anyway, what does Edge want? What do you got, Edge? Wow. So, I'm defending my World Heavyweight Championship against Chris Jericho at Elimination Chamber. I know. And I'm taking him on tonight. I think you'll do a great job, but I got nothing going on tonight. Why don't I come to the ring with you? I can totally be your manager. That would be awesome. Will you wear rubber bands in your face? Often imitated, never duplicated. And will you, uh, will you shout motivational slogans through a megaphone? Not happening. Dude. Okay. Will you throw ceremonial salt Mr. in your Fuji. face? Sorry. I left my ceremonial salt in my other pants. Well, what can you do? As the manager, I declare today Crazy Hat Friday. Works for me. Let's do this. Edge's face when he's talking is kind of like a Muppet. It doesn't look right. It doesn't look right. It just looks weird. Like, whatever they did with his animation just is weird. Ricky Steamboat from Mattel. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Elsewhere in your... Oh, is that Jack Swagger? Where's the Swagger Soaring Eagle? Huh? Where's he at? This is the two-time, two-time, all-American, American Jack Swagger's turf. That's all you gotta say, Jack Swagger? Seriously? Get lost. All right. Fair enough. Elsewhere in your Money in the Bank qualifiers, Kevin Owens. Proving that even if you lose one qualifier, you can totally get another one a week later and then totally qualify for that match. So, good for him, I guess. Hey, 
Hey, Michelle McCool. Where I just beat up the tag team with your husband last week. Michelle McCool, you want to talk? Do you want to say? There's no prompt to talk to her. Obviously, I can't push her. You're not going to have intergender match in your video game. But I just wanted to get a word, Michelle McCool. I wanted to ask about the dead man. No, nothing. Whose yard is it, Michelle? Shad with JTG versus Knox with Truth. Ziggler and Michelle McCool versus Morrison and Eve. Mixed tag team match. Kane versus Yoshi Tatsu. Melina and Layla. CM Punk and Finlay. And myself versus the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller. Break the walls down. Save us, Y2J. Save us. Anyhow, the other thing that I did want to get into here, which was the kind of out of left field announcement yesterday, which is going to be that, yes, Ronda Rousey will have a match, as I discussed yesterday on the show, at Money in the Bank. And I'm like, hmm, who, who, who will it be against? It turns out she's already fighting for the Raw women's title against Nia Jax. And that has to have been a weird bit of last minute booking and not the original plan. Because ideally, at this phase of Ronda Rousey's career, you want her in there with seasoned veterans. Like at Mania, you had Kurt Angle, Triple H, and Steph. And they could do a match and lay it out in their freaking sleep at this point, right? They've been in this business pretty much forever. Nia Jax, not so much. Nia Jax has a history of A, being a little bit sloppy, and B, there's the crazy hats, and B, being a little bit green still. Could have spent more time in NXT getting more seasoning. So everyone kind of assumed, all right, well, on Raw, your two most seasoned in-ring veterans would be either Mickie James or Natalia. And they kind of paired her up as the friend of Natalia. And if you know anything about being the friend of Natalia, she's probably going to turn on you or do something stupid, right? And then that ends up being a feud. Sure, fine. Those two could have an okay match because you're in there with a seasoned veteran. But Ronda Rousey, and unless that's a, unless you're booking a squash match, which, sure, fine, have Ronda squash Nia Jax, right? If, if that, that is how you're booking it, that's fine. Get her in that armbar, tap, tap, tap. I mean, that's not really de deserved to be the women's champion that soon, but if that's going to get you headlines and ideally sell more tickets, then by all means, right? But that match, that's, that's the green leading the green, if you will. Uh, and there is a high, high possibility when both superstars are not that, you know, not that seasoned, are a bit green, that somebody might get hurt. And you really don't want somebody getting hurt, especially Ronda Rousey, when she is such a huge investment for your company. So, I predict either shenanigans between the outside with Mickey or Natalia or something to not really give, have a clear cut, alright, here's a long 10, 15 minute wrestling match. I don't see that happening. Like, it's, it's either gotta be short, or it's gotta have a, a lot of outside interference for reasons. Because otherwise, somebody's gonna get hurt, and that's just not good. That's not what's best for business, basically. Um, so I, that's kind of how I feel on that whole thing. It's not the wisest thing in the world that they've done, and it feels like it was not their first choice. But here's the problem, right? Like, you can't put Ronda in a qualifier because she'd lose. Because you really don't want Ronda in Money in the Bank when she hasn't been in the business for, you know, even a year now, right? You don't want to go, all right, here's a ladder match. In your first year in the business, it's a bad idea. You're going to get hurt. So, also, having Ronda hold the briefcase is like the dumbest thing because it runs in there and immediately wins the belt. So, really, it's a question of how fast do you want to fast track her into that event and is she even near being ready for being champion at this stage? At this very early stage in her career. So, I don't know. That whole thing to me was... Oh! Well, referee! It's a DQ! Yeah, double team! It's a big DQ tonight. Can I face the big nasty? Paul White? Come on, have a signature. I want to use it so bad. I want to use it so... Oh, I'm getting stepped on. I want to use it so bad! Come on, Big Show. Big Show. There you go. Into the corner. No face. Oh, I lost the signature. 
Boo! Boo! I had one. And now Big Show's gonna Big Show. So, that's fine, Big Show. That's fine. It's already a DQ, Big Show. What do I care? What do I care? Oh, come on. That was the good part. And a cutscene. Someone needs to get in here and stop this. I don't know if anyone is that brave. This looks like a tag team match, player. Holla, holla. Jericho fell all the way to the floor. This bad luck hasn't ended yet. Woo! Oh, my goodness. That may have taken out both men. Meanwhile, Big Show and Edge are still battling. Where's that spear, Edge? Where's that spear? Does Edge think he can get Big Show up? Nope. Oh! No oh, slam. Where's Christian? Nice! There, that's Christian what I wanted to do. The With the chair. You made the giant very, very angry. You make me so anger. Nice! Concerto! Concerto! Do it! Shine it up real nice! A wicked concerto by the originators! Edge and the are horse. standing tall on SmackDown! Edge nice. got the best of Chris Jericho tonight! Will the World Heavyweight Champion reign supreme at Elimination Chamber? Oh right! The CM Punk business on Superstars. I forgot. Okay, Extreme Rules match. I can dig it. It's clobbering time. So I feel like the Ronda thing was kind of a rock and a hard place, right? You want to have Nia defend the belt at Money in the Bank. But a lot of your top contenders are in the match at Money in the Bank. You want Ronda to have a match at Money in the Bank, but you don't want to put Ronda in the Money in the Bank match. So therefore, the logical conclusion there, I guess, is to have... Ronda challenge Nia, but I just don't see it going well if they book it like a regular wrestling match. I just don't see that thing going the way that they hope it would go. So I would love to get proven wrong there. We'll see. We'll see. We got like four weeks of we got like four weeks of build too, so that should be very interesting to see how they build that match, how they keep those two apart, ideally until the day of the show. So we'll see. Or just more pointless ass tag team matches, because that's kind of what they do. Oh, you're in a six woman tag match with your friends and whatever else. And all right, sure. So many pointless female tag team matches. It is what it is. So CM Punk, boom! Out of nowhere. Really? CM Punk, I gotta hit that kill switch. Engage. And then pin the man. Come on out. A one. A two. It's just that easy. And then rolling up on the Elimination Chamber in St. Louis. That will be tomorrow. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. See you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.